Tonight is February the 8th, 2015, and I've got something to show you that I think that the owners of the 7000 series oscilloscope tectronics um, mainframes might really find interesting. I've had this one for some time, and a uh, good gentleman uh, sent me a comment on one of my uh, YouTube videos to go to a www. V I N T A G E T E K. There it is, right there. V I N T A G E T E K dot org. It's about vintage tectronics equipment. And these guys were talking about it and they were just having a good old time. And one of them um, made a comment. He says, You know, nowadays uh, we have these MDOs, the mixed domain oscilloscopes, where you can have a, a a time domain device which is an oscilloscope and a frequency domain device which is a spectrum analyzer all in one he said we didn't realize it or call it that at the time maybe they realized it, but they didn't call it that at the time but they actually made a device like that back here in the 80s these two slots right here I've, I've made some videos on this oscilloscope before this slot and this slot or vertical slots and this slot is and this slot are horizontal slots well here's a vertical amplifier and here's a spectrum analyzer they make three spectrum analyzers for this uh, 7000 series a 7L5 a 7L12 which is what this is and a 7L18 I believe I've had the 7L5 but I got rid of it it didn't serve my purpose very well this 7L uh, 12 is just a beautiful device. goes from 100 kilohertz to 1.8 gigahertz. This is an old uh, NASA uh, surplus unit. works great. Anyway, the point is, is even back in the 1980s, we had, and you can have, for a price under whatever MDOs cost nowadays, even used ones are $30,000, $40,000, you can have one right here. You may even have one. This is for those that actually have a spectrum analyzer, 7L5, 12, or 18 in their 7000 series scope. This is a dual base time base, but in either case, look here what you could have. Here is our frequency domain spectrum analyzer, and here is our oscilloscope, our time domain. I happen to be looking at a uh, 100 uh, megahertz signal here. I got some glare. 100 megahertz signal. But isn't that neat? I got it in chop mode, so I'm being I'm I'm chopping between these two vertical channels, and I got the horizontal. Whoops! I got the horizontal channels chopped too. Now what did I do? Right here. So I'm chopping the uh, horizontal channels, and I'm chopping the vertical channels. Or, or alternating the vert vertical and chopping the horizontal. See, I got the same signal going in on both of them. It's just, it's just looped around right there. This is coming from the signal generator. Isn't that neat? I didn't realize it, but after watching that video, I said, by golly, I have one of those things. And it's good up to 1.8 gig. Now, it doesn't work down in the audio range. Oh well. I guess you can't have everything. Uh, I'm back into my... Uh, 3-400Z amplifier. Here it is. Uh, I can't boil any water tonight in my 8 ohm dummy load for you, but um, I I have to taken an interest in it again. I'm starting to button it up. Here, I'll power it up here a little bit for you. I'll show you what kind of progress I've made on it. Actually, I did this some time ago. You can see I put a DC voltmeter in it and a panel. I've got it to where if I pull that out, you can't power it up. I want absolute control over this, but once you turn the AC on, turn the filaments on, then you can enable the DC. And with this key, it's a spring-loaded key, I can, I can get all the way in. There's my 3,000 volts, and if you'll watch right here, you'll see those, turn out some lights, you'll see those beautiful 3-400 Z's come up. I 
I am going to hook this thing up and play some music for you. Probably not going to be jazz. <laughs> that seems to be what everybody plays with a thousand watt amplifiers, jazz music. Anyway, I will be hooking this thing up soon and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. I got some Qualquist speakers that are four ohms a piece. I will uh, put them in a series for eight ohms. And uh, there you go. Here, here's the tubes that I'm that I have in there. These uh, three, four hundred Z's. That's what's in there. So there you go. Still having a lot of fun. But anyway, I just thought that uh, I didn't realize that I had a mixed domain oscilloscope here. Um, again, it's just going to be for my RF use. But uh, I thought those that have something like this, just like me, possibly didn't realize uh, what they had in their midst. So there you go. Enjoy. Be safe. Turn it off here. So that turns the high voltage off. And they go back down to normal.